MS Excel 2007 working in workbooks and worksheets. In Excel, a new file is called a workbook. By default, a workbook contains three worksheets, also called spreadsheets. Each worksheet in the workbook can be opened by clicking the tab at the bottom of the workbook window. Worksheets can be added or deleted. To insert a worksheet, click on the button indicating a new worksheet. To delete a worksheet, right-click on the sheet that has to be removed. Choose the Delete option to delete the worksheet. Each worksheet consists of cells, rows and columns. Rows are indicated by numbers and columns by letters. A cell is the combination of a row and column. An active cell is the cell that is selected to work in. It has a black border. The name of the workbook is shown above the ribbon if the workbook has been saved already. There are also functions buttons above the worksheet in the ribbon. There are scroll bars at the right and bottom of the worksheet to scroll up and down and from left to right on the sheet. Each cell has a cell address indicated by the column letter and the row number. This address can be seen in the name box. To navigate to a chosen cell, type the address into the name box and press enter on the keyboard. Click in the name box and type a different address. The new cell address C9 is selected. When working with data, it is sometimes necessary to select more than one cell to apply formatting or to use in a calculation. This selection is called a range of cells. In this example, the selected range is from B2 to B11. It is indicated as B2 colon B11. To select a whole row, click on the row number. To select a column, click on the column letter. To select the whole worksheet, click on the square in the top left-hand corner. It is also possible to select non-adjacent cells. Click in the first cell to be selected, press and hold the control button on the keyboard and carry on to select the other cells. Non-adjacent cells are selected.